Good morning and welcome to Coffee with Pastor. This is December the 29th of 2023. Good morning to you and each day we're getting a little bit closer, a little bit closer to the end of the year and pretty soon we'll be saying happy 2024 and it is coming very, very quickly. So again, this is Coffee with Pastor. I have my hot cup of coffee right here. I have my copy of the Word of God open to the book of Luke, the Gospel of Luke in chapter 3. Please join us there. Open up your copy of the Word of God. Join us there. Follow along with us as we read. And while you are turning in your copy of the Word of God, what type of diet did the snowman go on? What type of diet did the snowman go on? The meltdown diet. Okay, hopefully before the end of the year, these will be getting better. Anyway, we are again are in the Gospel of Luke in chapter 3. Again, join us there. It is Friday, and so I hope you're looking forward to a beautiful day. I hope you're looking forward to a good weekend and gearing up to gather together with your church family on Sunday. It is getting very close to that nine o'clock hour. So let's go ahead. Let's bow our heads, bow our hearts before our Heavenly Father. Let's pray together. Good morning, Lord. And we thank you and we praise you for this wonderful, wonderful day. Father, you already know what the day holds for us. And Father, we take great comfort in that knowing full well that you will indeed meet our needs. And Lord, you make that promise knowing full well what it is we stand in need of. So Father, as we embark upon this day, show us your will. Help us to pay attention. Help us to obey. Help us to be faithful. And Lord, as we strive to do your will, again, asking that you would continue to meet our needs for strength, for courage, for encouragement. And Father, bless us as well. Help us to be everything you would have us to be. And Father, we're not looking for blessings by way of material things. We're asking that you would bless us according to your will and to grant us those things that you deem as best for us in order that we might follow you more fully. Father, we open up your word again with expectation that you, that your spirit, being our teacher, would show us great and mighty things from your word. Father, change us. Change our thinking. And Lord, be glorified in our lives. We thank you and we praise you for this day. We thank you for the reading of your word. Now, Father, again, bless your word. We ask this in Jesus' precious and holy name. Amen. We are in the Gospel of Luke and the third chapter. Now in the 15th year of the reign of Tiberius Caesar, Pontius Pilate being governor of Judea, and Herod being tetrarch of Galilee, and his brother Philip Tetrarch of Itria, and of the region of Trachonitis and Lysanias, the Tetrarch of Abilene. Annas and Caiaphas being the high priests, the word of God came unto John the son of Zacharias in the wilderness. And he came into all the country about Jordan, preaching the baptism of repentance for the remission of sins. As it is written in the book of the words of Isaiah the prophet, saying, The voice of one crying in the wilderness, 
Prepare ye the way of the Lord. Make his path straight. Every valley shall be filled and every mountain and hill shall be brought low. And the crooked shall be made straight and the rough ways shall be made smooth. And all flesh shall see the salvation of God. Then said he to the multitude that came forth to be baptized of him, O generation of vipers, who hath warned you to flee from the wrath to come? Bring forth therefore fruits worthy of repentance, and begin not to say within yourselves, We have Abraham to our father. For I say unto you, that God is able of these stones to raise up children unto Abraham. And now also the axe is laid unto the root of the trees. Every tree, therefore, which bringeth forth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. And the people asked him, saying, What shall we do then? And he answereth and saith unto them, He that hath two coats, let him impart to him that hath none. And he that hath meat, let him do likewise. Then came also the publicans to be baptized, and said unto him, Master, what shall we do? And he said unto them, Exact no more than that which is appointed you. And the soldiers likewise demanded of him, saying, And what shall we do? And he said unto them, Do violence to no man, neither accuse any falsely, and be content with your wages. And as the people were in expectation, and all men mused in their hearts of John whether he were the Christ or not, John answered, saying unto them all, I indeed baptize you with water, but one mightier than I cometh, the latchet of whose shoes I am not worthy to unloose. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire, whose fan is in your, his hand, and he will thoroughly purge his floor and will gather the wheat into the garner, but the chaff he will burn with fire unquenchable. And many other things in his exhortation preached he unto the people. But Herod the Tetrarch, being reproved by him for Herodias, his brother Philip's wife, and all the evils which Herod had done, added yet this above all, that he shut up John in prison. Now when all the people were baptized, it came to pass that Jesus also, being baptized and praying, the heaven was opened. And the Holy Ghost descended in a bodily shape like a dove upon him. And a voice came from heaven which said, Thou art my beloved Son, in thee am I well pleased. And Jesus himself began to be about thirty years of age, being as was supposed the son of Joseph, was the son of Heli, which was the son of Methat, which was the son of Levi, which was the son of Melchi which was the son of Jana, which was the son of Joseph, which was the son of Matthias, which was the son of Amos, which was the son of Nahum, which was the son of Esli, which, son, which was the son of Nagi, which was the son of Maath, which was the son of Matthias, which was the son of Semai, which was the son of Joseph, which was the son of Judah, which was the son of Joanna, which was the son of Risa, which was the son of Zerubbabel, which was the son of Salathiel, which was the son of Nurai, which was the son of Melchi, which was the son of Adai, which was the son of Kassam, which was the son of Amadan, which was the son of Ur, which was the son of Jos, which was the son of Eleazar, which was the son of Joram, which was the son of Methat, which was the son of Levi which was the son of Simeon, which was the son of Judah, which was the son of Joseph, which was the son of Jonan, which was the son of Eliakim, which was the son of Millai, which was the son of Menen, which was the son of Methath, which was the son of Nathan, which was the son of David, which was the son of Jesse, which was the son of Obed, 
which was the son of Boaz, which was the son of Salmon, which was the son of Nason, which was the son of Aminadab, which was the son of Arm, which was the son of Esron, which was the son of Phares, which was the son of Judah, which was the son of Jacob, which was the son of Isaac, which was of the son of Abraham, which was the son of Thara, which was the son of Nacor, which was the son of Sarek, which was the son of Ragu, which was the son of Phalek, which was the son of Heber, which was the son of Sala, which was the son of Canaan, which was the son of Arphaxad, which was the son of Sem, which was the son of No, which was the son of Lamech, which was the son of Methuselah, which was the son of Enoch, which was the son of Jared, which was the son of Melaleel, which was the son of Canaan, which was the son of Enos, which was the son of Seth, which was the son of Adam, which was the son of God. And may God add his blessing to the reading of his word. John came preaching, pointing to the light that was going to come into the world, pointing to the Lamb of God. John fulfilled his ministry perfectly. John was faithful, an example that you and I should follow in our lives, being faithful to the one who has called us, to the one who has called us into his service, to be faithful to Jesus Christ. And again, never allowing ourselves to become someone else's excuse for turning away from the gospel of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Beloved, today's going to be a wonderful day. I don't know what the day ha holds for us. I don't know really what the day holds for me. But I hope that through it all, we all strive to be faithful to God. Remember, he loves you, and we do as well. And until tomorrow, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. <laughs>